Hey everybody, Jill here. It's the night before my gamma knife surgery. The day has finally come. It was postponed because I had that emergency admit, but um, it's finally here. Tomorrow's the day. And I'm really eager to get it over with since I've been really sketchy with my memory lately. And I'm hoping that after I have the surgery, I won't have to write things down as much and I'll be able to remember again, hopefully. Um, I did talk to a few people that had the procedure and basically, well, I don't know what to expect. I'm still scared. Um, one lady just basically told me, you're a warrior. You don't have a choice. Just don't get yourself so worked up because you're going to make it worse. Just go in there and um, deal with it. You're a warrior. Just deal with it. And um, in the long run, it's for the best. I know it's for the best. Um, yeah, I'm probably not going to sleep at all tonight because I'm worried about it. Uh, I'm glad Tanner's going with me, obviously. So I have a ride. And um, I was trying to work on my homework assignments today so I can recover tomorrow and not have to worry about getting my assignments in. Um, I don't really know what else to say. I just, um, I washed my hair so it's clean for tomorrow and I don't think I have to get a haircut so they're just going to drill four holes, I believe, two in the front, two in the back and um, that's it, I'll go from there. So stand by for that. Uh, <laughs> It looks like it is on, officially. Uh, I'm just going to do my best to hang in there, be as strong as possible, and uh, check back in tomorrow. Okay, the morning of my gamma knife surgery. I'm in the car. Tanner ran into Tripler for a quick errand, and then we're going to head over to the Gamma Knife Center of the Pacific. Uh, he's driving me, so um, I'm really scared, but I know everything will work out. I got good surgeons, good doctors. Um, it's just going to be radiation. Now, they call it a surgery, but it's not an actual surgery. It's just basically getting the crown put on my head and, um, and the radiation. So. I did take one of my oxycodons because I'm freaking out and it's definitely made me a lot more relaxed. Um, trying to be as out of it as possible. So, and then, you know, I got my monkey here that Alpha gave me on one of my hospital admits before. I'm going to hopefully hold it during the surgery and then focus on it soft and uh, try to listen to my iPod as well to hopefully distract me. And then, of course, um, I'll get an anxiety pill. So, hopefully, uh, Aloha everybody, Jill here. It is the day after my gamma knife surgery and I feel pretty good. Um, you can see I still have the band-aids on my head and the betadine and oh it's a little bloody under there. Yo, I'm not looking forward to taking that off and having to look at that. Oh, it's creepy. Um, I still got, could feel the clumps of betadine in the back of my head too. Um, I wasn't supposed to take a shower for 24 hours, 
but I pretty much came home from the Gamma Knife. Uh, we went to eat first at Golden Duck Chinese Food because I figured um, I'm starving. I hadn't eaten anything on account of having to get my CT scan with contrast first to make sure nothing else grew. So I had not eaten since pretty much midnight the night before and I was starving, so, and we were gonna get caught in traffic. So I suggested, okay, I can go sit in the booth in uh, the Chinese restaurant, let's just eat food, and I'm glad, because now I have leftovers today too, so it was good. So I pretty much ate the food and then passed out on the ride home, <laughs> and I stayed on the couch the rest of the night, and slept in really late today. Now I'm about to get in the shower, and it's like I said, I wasn't supposed to shower, but it's been 24 hours, I'm allowed to do that now rinse out all this betadine and um, my antibiotic underneath these bandages, but I'm told that after 24 hours, just take them off and ear them out. And um, I'm scared to look at a scab on my forehead. I kind of don't want to see that because I do panic every time there's any kind of scab or blood or anything on me. I just, I hate that so bad. <sighs> Everybody teases me because I can look at blood on anybody else, but when it's on me, I'm in a panic. And uh, actually yesterday at the Gamma Knife Center, I went into the bathroom after I had the frame on my head, but before I was going into the Gamma Knife machine and I don't know why I was looking in the mirror. I was washing my hands and I saw the bolts in my head, like the Frankenstein bolts, and they just looked bloody and crusty and oh, it was making me dizzy and it was gross and I had to just get out of there and not look. So. I'm not even excited to take the bandages off, but um, I'm supposed to air it out, so that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> but uh, anybody that's about to get the Gamma Knife surgery, um, I just want you to know that it does suck. It does really hurt. Um, I had the lidocaine put in my head to, that was supposed to numb the area, and I don't know, I could still totally feel him screwing the bolts in. I was whimpering and crying like a a big wimp the whole time. It really friggin' hurt. No joke. Um, I, I, I had a, a pain pill, an anxiety pill, and lidocaine, and it still hurt like horrendous. And I could taste metal, and I could hear the metal being screwed into my head, and it was just awful. I, I don't think there was anything else that's been that awful. Um, I'm just so thankful to God that it's over. And I came out okay, and um, at least it didn't last very long. After a couple minutes, uh, it did the pain to go down. I got some more lidocaine in the back of my head because I could still feel it, and it was starting to go down. But for the first couple of minutes, it was pretty much just the worst thing I ever experienced. <laughs> I'm not trying to scare anybody who has to have the procedure, but um, that was my take on it. It sucked, <laughs> but <laughs> thank God it's over with and hopefully it worked so um, just hang in there if you're about to have it take a deep breath um, I suggest bringing something to hold on to that's what I was doing I was holding on to my stuffed animal and just squeezing the daylight out of it <laughs> so you know, bring somebody with you for support you know that's helpful too Tanner was at the foot of the bed um, holding kind of rubbing my foot and holding my toes and I just kept trying to do mind over matter and focus on him touching my foot and the softness of my stuffed animal and then you know it, it made a difference I mean it really did it's good to have somebody with you uh, I'm not sure what the lidocaine was for I could only imagine that if I wouldn't have had the lidocaine it would have been even worse and more painful yet um, so, I mean, I am glad that I had it, but at one point, um, the doctor asked me, you know, can you, you should only feel pressure. To, how is it now? Can you, does it still hurt or do you feel pressure? Or And I said, no, it really hurts. <laughs> and then they gave me some more lidocaine. That was in the back of the head um, that really hurt. And the nurse told me there, there's a lot of nerves back there that sometimes you just hit a nerve and it's, you know, bad, it's worse, but... So, um, yeah, that was it. So, it, you know, it only lasted a couple minutes, which was good. But um, that screwing those bolts in was just horrible. Then I had to sit there for an hour while they discussed the treatment plan. The radiologist, um, the oncology person, 
uh, the neuro neurosurgeon and the um, the physicist. They all worked on the plan together. So you know, thank goodness Tanner was there with me, which helped. And then when I went into actual gamma machine, it was kind of like being in an MRI or a CAT scan. You know, just like other than I had that big crown on my head. And um, I put my iPhone, my iPod buds in and listened to music, which, you know, was good. And then um, <laughs> I had my, one of my stuffed animals, my little monkey that Alpha gave me, and I was squeezing it. <laughs> While they were putting the pins in, I was glad I didn't break it. I think they were laughing that I really squeezed um, the death out of that poor thing. But, you know, I had to do something. I was just, it hurt so bad. Uh, overall, you know, when I came out of there, it hurt taking it off and then my head hurt for the rest of the day and I just stayed home and took a couple of oxycodons. Now as it's the next day I'm just taking Tylenol. Um, it's pretty much, you know, it's not too bad the pain now. I still have a headache but, you know, thank God the CAT scan said it didn't grow any further tumors so that was good. Um, I still have to go in three months to make sure that there's not any more that have grown um, or were too small to show up but, you know, thank God I only had that one so hopefully God willing, that's taken care of now. And uh, my second round of chemotherapy is happening um, on Friday, so about a week from now. So um, on one hand, you know, it's good. It's, I think, killing the cancer because, you know, my neck has gone down. So I think it must be working. Um, but, you know, now as it's all these days after the fact, I'm getting my taste back a little bit. It's still metallic, but, you know, for the last two days, I've been able to actually eat some food and not get sick, not have it pass out through me, and uh, it's tasting a little better, so I hate to have to go to chemo again and ruin it again, but, you know, I need to keep keep on with my treatments. But uh, at least, you know, God willing, everything works out. I am happy to have the gamma knife over with, and um, it's one more thing I can cross off my belt. You know, hopefully now I'll get my balance back, I'll have my memory back, Hopefully I won't have to write so many things down again. And, um, you know, another couple of days, these headaches should be gone. And, um, you know, like I said, my hair's still in, being positive. You know, I got, got kind of a big clump out today, but a big chunk. But it's, I don't know, for the most part, it's in my hair. So it's on my head. I mean, so um, I guess that's it, you know, for the Gamma Knife. Um, I just wanted to give you the update with that for anybody going through it. Just remember, it does suck, it does hurt, but it's definitely necessary and and it's pretty quick at least. And uh, it's a good thing to get over with and hopefully it, it worked. So I guess I'll get my brain scanned in a few months to make sure and see the progress and uh, hopefully it took care of that tumor. So. All right, um, signing out. I'm going to go shower and change. Uh, it's St. Patrick's Day. I'm going to um, <laughs> put on my St. Patrick's Day gear. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not leaving the house, but I want to have green on at least. <laughs> so uh, I guess I will catch up with you guys later. Thanks for watching. Aloha. Happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> We're capturing the sunset. So that's